Hey guys, we're about to head out to go for some bass. In a bit, we're about to go south. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm about to grab my fishing stuff and I'm um, heading out, you know? Like always, I want to get a few more bass after that bass that I got yesterday. I actually didn't record the one because I can't really record when I'm taking out a fish. But my first one, I took it out and when it came out of the water, it just opened its mouth and it was gone. I, if you're a bass fisherman, you know that a lot of like the small bass, they do that. They just go off the hook like, 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 I don't know, somehow. But the big ones always stay on, but the small ones tend to get away. But you never know what you get. So it's perfect weather right now in California. So we're going to head out and do some fishing, you know. So guys, today I am pumping up my back tire, it's a little bit fun, this is a, I'm not going to show that even though I already did, you guys can play back and order this kind. Anyways, you take the nozzle, you can switch anytime to any kind of bike that you have, which I have the rolling on kind. Take it, you press it on, and you might need uh, two hands to do this. So. As you can see, and then you pull it up. There you go. And then you start go down to 20 or whatever your tire says. It says on the tire 25, 20, whatever it says. You pump it up as much as that. Don't go over the Limit for me it's 20, so a little bit. It's kind of hard to go in here. Feel the tires hard, that means it's ready to go. So, we're ready to go on our fishing trip right now. Let's do this. Guy. Landed on a small bud right here, a small, largey, large mouth right here. Nice small one, like I'd guess uh, this is a straight 10 or 12 incher. But, damn, guys, at least I got something, guys. Check to the worm, that's how big it is. and it's like three worms, so at least we got something that was on a small hook too, so thank you Jesus. And yeah guys, we're going to re probably release this guy because you can't keep them this small. But at least I got one, you know guys? At least I, I'm getting them. At least I'm getting them. That's the main thing out here at Woolly B Pond. This is proof that it's by the dock right here. This open gap right here. Tossing to the right down there and then I got one. Bingo. Try to land a bigger one maybe. Let this one go maybe. Alright guys. I'm gonna do a quick release for this guy. Guys, we're doing a release. This guy's too small for to keep. We're doing a release for him. Thank you. 
Guys, we're out here at Woolen Bee Pond grabbing my stuff real quick. <sighs> Let's go. Let's catch some bass hopefully today. I'm gonna walk all the way around. Uh, we're gonna try out a Senko like always. What the hell? What the hell? Holy shit. What the hell was that? That was something really weird, guy. Hush. Oh, Everything keeps scaring me today. Fucking lizard. Because uh, this place is known for snakes right here. So I'm on the lookout for the snake that lives around here. Perfect day for fishing. Hopefully, a snake won't ruin our day today. I'm hoping. Because look at this, guys. This is this is beautiful. Look at this. I love this pond, guys. This is like my favorite place to go fishing. Oh, I think I see my friend out there. Uh, this one guy I met the other day. I'm gonna probably walk out there right now. Toss a couple times over here, see if I get any. Cause last time I got one. And you know, what if I land a big one? You know, if I live, if I land one, then I'll probably stay here a little bit longer. But. I'm gonna go check out what my friend's catching down there. If he caught any catfish or, or carp or whatever he's going for. And yeah, guys, I don't think you could see him, but I'm just walking in circles. I should be unpacking my stuff. But yeah, guys, come back to you as soon as I pack my stuff. Guys, I just met this, met this awesome dude and he got, gave me this uh, salmon um, lure and so, uh, he has his own store, he makes his homemade um, salmon lures. And I'm gonna ask him what where his store is and I'm gonna put it in the description if you guys need any lures for salmon. I'll, it'll be in the description and I'm, thanks bro, like, this means a lot, like, bet you I could get one of these for like 50 bucks, dude. Anyways guys, we got our secret spot where we got the big largemouth that we got, seven pounder, so we're, let's see if we could land another one. Guys, you've missed a lot. I lost my, um, I ripped off my Senko and at the river over here I was throwing out my Shad Jig because I saw a striper and the Shad Jig got stuck beneath the tree and then it snapped off. Or, I don't know if it was the tree but it, the striper took it, took off under the tree and be, we see where those branches are at. You can see there's a small branch broken over there. And it went over it. I was like, come on, are you serious? I was about to take it out and then it snapped the, the branch snapped off and snapped my line. Could have been a 20 inch tri freaking striper, but it's all right, maybe. Maybe next time we'll get him again. He's hooked though, but went away with my shad jig. It's all right though. Gonna go back to the dock and I don't know. Try to find something to fish with, but yeah, guys, we'll see. Guys, look at this, bro. Look at this, guys. Where, where can you find this kind of big bass? Honestly, at a small pond that you wouldn't expect to land on one of these. Guys, look, look how big it is. That's, uh, I'd say, uh, honestly, let's see, one. Actually, I have a measuring tape. Is uh, Is it bus? Bus, yeah. It was... There's 12... Twenty... 21, 21, 21 inch. Woo! This isn't my PB. Last one was my PB. It was, but this one's pretty big, anyways, guys. Check it out. My hands are shaking right now. And I, I hooked him really good. Look at that, guys. That was a perfect hook set right there in the gill. Oh, it came out though. On a red fleek. Uh, 
Lysenko. I'm just too happy I can't even talk, guys. This is dinner right here. This is a keeper, and yeah, guys, see ya. Guys, we're heading out right now. Caught that big bass, and that's it. Yeah. Hey guys, today we'll be cooking fish. This is a large amount of bass right here. And so we, all you need is two eggs, the bass that you have cleaned. Make sure it's clean with the skin, like fillets and flour. And you'll need pepper, of course, um, which I didn't get, so, but I will get. But don't forget, pepper the eggs, but when you make the fillets I salt them for like the night and then I make them the other day but if you want you can make it the day you catch the fish but you don't have to salt it you salt the eggs and uh, and then you mix it with a fork I'll show you guys in a bit so guys I got my pepper after all so you take it you open your pepper and you a little bit just a tiny Teaspoon, not teaspoon, but a tiny pinch of salt and pepper will do the job. And we have this is salted, so it's perfect. And you take a fork and you do this, mix it up. Keep mixing it until it turns uh, like a yellowish yellowish like thing I'll show you guys in once I'm done so I forgot I used um, pure olive oil I put it to boil over here while I make the egg thing so do that real quick and then do the egg thing I totally forgot I'm very sorry but yeah everything stays the same just use pure olive oil to make it good but yeah just wait for that and do this while once it turns into this yellow fight when you take a piece of your fish it's not really skin I don't take the fish skin off dip it in here and my thing is burning so I have to hurry up and then you dip it in here nice dip and then put it on there you go. Actually, make sure your heat is like on three when doing this. And yeah, guys. Just keep doing this until you're done with the fish. This is how you make fish. I hope you use this and it's useful for you guys. And yeah, the best way to make bass, I would say. And yeah. By the way, it's gonna be really messy, so you're gonna have really bad hands so if you want you can wash it off right away or later yeah, usually I wait till the end and wash it off but this is how it's supposed to be once it's full you just wait a couple minutes and you flip it over with like a fork or something so you have to have a fork too forgot to say that but and then it's ready after it's done burning you put it on a plate with a um, uh, napkin and you let it stay for a couple minutes like 20 minutes and then you eat and so yeah I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done so guys your fish should be looking like this fried or even a little bit more fried more like this or maybe a little bit more brighter color I don't know I'll show you guys but I flipped it over too early but it's supposed to have this brown crusty kind of thing you know Guys, also, if you have a covering for the pan, it would work better. And you need to add a lot of oil because I just noticed that if you don't add a lot of oil, then it'll turn out like this, which I think I did this wrong actually. I think I was supposed to start with that and then that and then, but I did the opposite. So I gotta next time root do it that way because I messed up the thing. But if you have a cap that closes the fish, I'm not going to show the company. I don't promote companies. So, yeah. Guys. It's this simple. This is the wrong way to make fish, guys. Don't do this. 
By the way, you can also feed a little piece to your cat if you have one or dog. If they eat it, that means you can eat it. That's how you check. And in this case, they love it, so I'm pretty sure you're going to love it too. Yep. People give them to try, but blow on it before you give it to them because it's really hot. And then, okay. there you go. Eat it. I'm gonna give the whole piece slowly to her in a bit, but I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit less hot than all of a sudden. But as you see, I put the fish back in. It wasn't ready, my dad said, so I'll put it back in. Shush. Patience, give me patience. Patience will get you food. I'll give her this whole piece in a bit. It has no bones, because when you fill it, the ass you take out all the bones, so yeah. So it's not dangerous for cats. And cats should be able to eat bones. There you go. You could do this guys if you have any pets while you wait. Just feed them a small piece. There you go. You missed one. Oh, right there. I think actually the longer your fish is in there, the better, the faster it cooks, so we're going to take it out right now. So yeah guys, I'm done right now, but, so we took the fish, dip it in here, in the flour first, and then the egg, and then you put it on. And you dip it from all the sides too, I've got to really explain that, and then you put it in there, and then you wait. But over here you could tell the difference. This and you can tell the difference from this. This is the one that I first did that was not right. You can see it falls apart easily. This one stays together when you touch it. That's how you know the difference. Uh, otherwise, there's no other difference that tastes the same. Except this one will be crispier and you'll see what I mean later. But yeah. Can't wait to. It's done. And yes. So yeah. Cat can't wait either because hungry too. Yeah. So guys, this is what it's supposed to be looking like right there. Crispy, white crisp. That's pretty much like this. Pretty much like that. That's how it's supposed to look like. So yeah. So you and then you just put it and eat it after 20 minutes pass. Actually 10 minutes, I think it's fine, or even 5. How long, if you like it warm, you eat it warm, it's your choice. How will you like it? But yeah guys, enjoy. So, this is what it's going to look like. It's really good, I just tried it and it is good. Real good. Hey guys, I hope you like the video and I'm going to make a new one soon. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and leave a like of course on the video and this is like two days later but it's all right you know but subscribe guys and leave a like and yeah i'll be making more fishing videos and you, if you don't want to miss a single video you need to subscribe so and comment below any questions you have about bass about fishing and if you want to go fishing with me we can maybe you can comment below and then maybe
like a plan a day or something but yeah subscribe leave a like and peace out